have to whisper, but I want to try to talk in a, a louder tone. Um, here's the thing. Okay. Um, you have spiritual, um, in your government, you have spiritualists. You do. And, uh, they're not necessarily Christian, okay? Uh, a lot of the government, well, mostly a lot since the 1960s, stopped believing in the church so much. But the church is good. It's good for everyone. And it teaches people the correction of law with their own humanity regarding morals, regarding concept of God and the Creator. Well, uh, and what happened in the 1960s, you had people in government looking into your churches. These were intellectual men, not completely believing. And they started going to churches and saw something there that they weren't completely comfortable with spiritually. So a lot of your government really started writing off church, but we still support it. Not everybody wrote it off. Few did. Um, but anyways, Ryan's a Christian. He believes in the church, and that's his only religious temple that he visits. He'll never go to a mosque. Uh, he's not Buddhist, and um, he doesn't believe in Hindus. So, <clears throat> religiously, Ryan's a Christian, and he always has been. But you have spiritualists in the government. And, uh, they read spiritual things invisibly. I forget the word for it. It's like a, uh, well, really, it's a, uh, I forget the word for it. It's, there's a particular word for it. A clairvoyant. They're like a clairvoyant. They're, they can see into things spiritually for the ore and the vibe that is. Ryan, as a Christian, has that ability too. Um, but I, Ryan has an idea for everyone, okay, because he believes that Route Y and Elton, Cass County, Missouri, so he takes 71 South, if you drove from Olathe, Kansas, on 435 East, and went through the Triangle and took South towards Joplin at 71 South, you can get off at North Avenue in Belton, and turn right uh, on North Avenue, and then you drive down North Avenue past Mullen Road. Mullen Road is right next to High V. But if you drive past Mullen Road, there's a quick trip on your left when you get to a certain intersection, and you turn left there, and that that's when Route Y starts. And you drive that Route Y all the way through a few curves down to a stop sign where a Heartland Christian Church is and then there's a beautiful Savior Nursing Home on the left and take Route Y all the way to 195th Street. If you take it to 195th, you turn right at 195th and then you make your first left on the Stockman Road and you enter the Deer Meadows subdivision without the big new sign they put if you enter if you enter Deer Meadows through 196th Street, they have this new sign and they put there's a witchcraft they put a witchcraft symbol on it to to protect the neighborhood from all the past history and spiritual and physical activities that went on in the neighborhood that were wrong. So <clears throat> Ryan would preferably if someone went, wanted to drive there is take the Route Y from Belton all the way to 195th Street, turn right on 195th Street, and then make your first left on the Stockman Road. And then you take Stockman Road, all the way down, like he said before in one of his previous videos, and you come to a stop sign, and if you turn right at that stop sign, there's a cul-de-sac, if you go straight, there's a cul-de-sac, if you turn left, it takes that, that street's a housing street, but it, it gets you back to Route Y. And... The woman that Ryan talked about before in his previous video, Jessica Lemon, uh, L-E-M-M-O-N is what 
that's what she told me her name was, and that's what other people did. I don't know if that was her real name, okay, but she died. I never saw her again. After this girl that I knew from my class in 2007 got on the bus and told me Jessica died, Brian, I never saw her again. I never did. It was sad, but anyway, so if you get into that subdivision, that's where the whole conspiracy is that would tell government, God told Brian, Brian, your men in Kansas government are familiar with a lot of things for law, injustice, wrong action, false action towards humanity, and ill witness form like immorality, and all these things, but the conspiracy that's gone on in that Deer Meadows subdivision since, really since 1972 is what I wanted people to get started a spirit had claimed to Ryan, listen, this shit on my land started in 1964, man. That was the first victim in that neighborhood. When God told me 1972, a spirit spoke up and said, that was my land? It's 1964, they killed me? They murdered me. I was murdered. I was a victim, he said. And so, that's that's why I brought up 1964 to 1972. But God said when he said, the whole weird really weird shit that started going on in that neighborhood that people have hidden started around 1972 and it's the streets that Ryan told you 196th is Stockton Road 195th you turn left on Stockton Road if you go 195th you don't see a Deer Meadow sign and when you turn on the Stockton Road you don't see a Deer Meadow sign but if you take Route Y to 196th Street you'll see this new Deer Meadow sign that has this Ouija magic on it that makes it seem like the neighborhood's clean and good. That's what they did. And when I was living there, it didn't have that sign. It was green with an outline of a, of a white buck. A buck deer. A male deer with antlers. It was green and now they have this white sign with red outlines on it. And it's just, I think they put the new sign up to put a witch of witchcraft spell to clear the community of what some things have gone on. So when I told people to go there, I said take Route Y to 195th, then turn your first left on the Stockman, and that's it just drives Stockman all the way down to that stop sign. There's a cul-de-sac on the right, cul-de-sac straight ahead. If you turn left, it's a street that takes you back to Route Y eventually, but you pass a lot of houses on the way. And the angel said, What's going on in that neighborhood, Ryan, since 1972 is bad news for my kingdom in heaven, the religion of my people, and the people that once lived there. And, um, there, there's a conspiracy in that neighborhood, God told Ryan, that would really bother, just real, really bother your own Kansas government and detectives if they found, if they found out the whole truth. And people in Kansas government and other governments know people can hide names that lived in homes. They can remove a family that lived in a home. Names weren't there. Put a new name for the prayer house owner. And then the family that disappeared in the home, they take all those people's finances and recirculate them back to government correspondence things. You know, stuff like that. But... <clears throat> It wasn't, you know, so weird stuff has gone on, and they thought so much the neighborhood, God said they put a Via Spectrum home, just one house, in that whole neighborhood, and Ryan thinks it's off of Stockman. It's a brown home on the left on Stockman Road. If you're taking Stockman, to that, that stop sign where you can turn right to a cul-de-sac, go straight to a cul-de-sac, or turn left and takes you back to Route Y after you drive through past a few houses, Ryan believed the Via Spectrum home that was in that neighborhood was this brown house. He's never seen anybody come in or out of it. It's always had closed blinds. It has an RV. I mean, his whole time, he lived there in 6th, 7th, and 8th, and 9th grade in that neighborhood. And he's gone there as an adult. And he never sees anything walking on the lane. Uh, but God told Ryan not his thought of that brown house. There's a Via Spectrum home in that community and learns what to be a Spectrum home. And he said, it's a Virginia, Virginia Intelligence Electronological Operating House. I said, what does that do? He, he said, well, 
because of what's going on there and the government men living in that neighborhood and monitors electronic things coming into the neighborhood, it surveillances, it gathers info and intelligence from the families living in the housing subdivision, they're not where the information is being collected, uh, stuff like that. But God said there was a whole conspiracy behind that neighborhood that would, it would really bother your own Kansas government men. Yeah. And I said, whoa. I said, yep, and, and I wanted to talk about it because, you know, my spirits in heaven have been dealing with this stuff, he said. And, uh, you know, I was real bothered because the, the injustice that's taking place, whether, other, whether locals today living there call it injustice or not of justice, it was injustice. And I've had, I've had over 400 people, God said, over 400 people live in that Deer Meadows subdivision okay over the years and you know he said I didn't like you know the DIA being produced out of that housing subdivision or the community uh, but so if you're spiritual excuse me a spiritual oh, I forget the word but they're spiritualists, don't believe in the Bible, but God gave Ryan the ability that those clairvoyants have, those spiritual clairvoyants that don't believe in the Bible, he gave Ryan that ability to his spiritual, that, that clairvoyant ability. Read auras and spiritual vibes and atmospheres all around yourself to understand, because, and, uh, Ryan has taken, there's another way to get to that Deer Meadow subdivision from a way to Kansas. So say you take I-35 south to Santa Fe. You're on I-35. You're going south. You get off on Santa Fe and Olathe. You turn left on Santa Fe. And then you take Santa Fe to Merlin and turn right on Merlin. Okay? And then you take Merlin to 151st Street and turn left. And then you take 151st Street to Black Bob Road. And then... You take Black Bob Road all the way past the stop signs, and eventually it turns into Lackman Road. Black Man Road. It turn Black Bob turns into Lackman Road. And when you get to 199th Street at the end of Lackman Road, there should be a water tower there. You turn left on 199th Street, and you take it all the way down those country roads through Stillwell. All the way past the railroad tracks, past the elementary school, you keep going straight, and then you turn, there's a three-way stop, you'll come to the end of that road, and don't turn right, it gets you in the different, it's not where you're supposed to go, you're supposed to turn left, when you get to that three-way stop, at the end of 199th, and then, and that's state line road, and then you take that, and then you make your first right turn, and that's 195th street. And you take 195th all the way to your first stop sign, and that's Holmes Road. You're going to pass this huge, cement concreted strong bridge. Drive over it, pass the Prospect Road is going to be your next intersection, and then Cleveland Road, which is your last intersection, and then Stockman Road is on your right. You make a right at Stockman. And, uh... It's shortly after the Cleveland's road stop sign. But if you keep going straight past Stockman, there's no other turns except for Route Y. And if you turn right on Route Y from 195th, it'll take you all the way to 186. And then you can get Stockman Road that way. But that's the subdivision. There's a whole thing there. And Ryan, as a, con as a spiritual con uh, con convoyant of his own, as a Christian, He's driven the route he just told you about, the back roads from Kansas into Missouri. And he always felt sad and depressed driving that way. And then he got onto Route Y from 195th Street and turned left to go into Belton, North Avenue, past Memorial Park. North Avenue's past Memorial Park, there's a quick trip on the right. And Ryan got sick to his stomach driving down Route Y like he had met a death there. His body was driven down that road. 